So why are some patients extended tummy tuck versus a mini tummy tuck versus a regular tummy tuck? So let me give you an example. Typical tummy tuck is from hip to hip. So if I kind of feel her hip, it's like right in here. So a typical tummy tuck would probably be from about here to here in terms of where the incision is, okay? That's a usual tummy tuck, hip to hip. Sometimes we do what's called an extended tummy tuck. And what that means is that it's, the incision is extended. That's what the extended is referring to. It's the length of the incision. And why would I do an extended tummy tuck and make a longer incision if I could do a regular tummy tuck? Well, I would, obviously. We try to keep our incisions as short as we possibly can. But in this case, for example, she's lost over 100 pounds and she has a lot of excess skin. And the excess skin is not just confined to this area. So I can't just do a regular tummy tuck in her. We have to do an extended tummy tuck. And so what that means is that her incision will be longer. Her incision is going to go over here. So keep in mind that let's say a regular tummy tuck incision might stop here. This incision is going to go all the way over to here. Why do I have to extend this? I have to extend it because that's where the skin is. So if I were to just stop my incision here, then all of this skin would hang down and that would be completely unacceptable. So I have to make the incision as long as needed to be able to capture all of the skin. We're gonna do full body lipo as well, lipo 360 here. It's the same liposuction that I do for a BBL, it's the same OG. She happens to have a fairly large key area here, but all of this is gonna be lipo, but my incision is gonna go all the way there, really, you know, look at kind of to the midpoint of where her leg is. A mini tummy tuck is even smaller. So a mini tummy tuck incision would be, you know, somewhere in here. And it would still be in the same location down low, but it's just shorter. So that's a mini, this is a regular, and this is an extended. Not many people are really good candidates for mini tummy tuck because usually patients have, that get tummy tucks have had children. And when you've had children, you don't just carry your baby within this kind of constraint. It really takes up the whole abdomen. So that's why mini tummy tucks are not very common because usually the baby has stretched out not just this part of the abdomen, but more of it. And therefore we kind of have to go where the extra skin is. And usually if you've had a child, the extra skin is over here and that's a regular tummy tuck. But today we're gonna to be doing an extended tummy tuck. So that's the difference, extended, regular, mini. Many, not very common to perform, regular, most frequent, but sometimes, particularly with massive weight loss patients, your tummy tuck will be extended, just meaning that incision is gonna be longer.